Hi folks, welcome to Medium Rare where I serve up my VR sculpting workflow in tiny bite sized chunks. Hi guys, in this episode I'm going to be showing you a technique I call the wife's technique. Nothing to do with the wives. W F S wireframe fill smooth. So it has three steps, technically four because the first one is break down the design as it always is. Study the design you have, imagine what it looks like as if it were a wireframe outline delineating the full surface of the object. Ideally you want to draw it out first, you know, actually plan it or draw over the perfect reference example, you know, whatever makes it clear in your mind. Step two, draw the wireframe outline. Using the clay brush on a new layer, draw out the spans of your wireframe bound. For added flexibility, you could obviously place them on separate layers so that you can manipulate them to your heart's content. Step two, draw your wireframe outline. Using the clay brush on a new layer, draw out the spans of your wireframe bounds. For added flexibility, you could place them all on separate layers. Step three, fill in the surface of your object between these lines. Again, using the clay brush and again on a new layer, Fill the surface between the spans. Imagine that you're drawing the panels of a car body. I normally use a large flattish brush for this. Step four, smooth your surface. Using the smooth brush, smooth over all the large gaps on your surface. And then using smooth on flatten, remove the most offending peaks on the surface. Okay, so let's get on and do it. So I'm going to produce this Spartan helmet. This is my study and layout of how I'm going to go about actually drawing the wireframe of this object. So we have the clay brush. It's very simple, just continuous. I normally put the steady stroke up quite high because I have super shaky hands. So that's the only thing I changed. Just nice circle, paper speed nothing, steady stroke 20 or higher, depends how I'm feeling at the time, continuous. And we have mirror on. We always have mirror on because we're lazy. Okay, and I'm just going to start. I think first what we'll do is we'll go for the width of the helmet. Let's just eyeball this. Okay, that color. I really need to remember and get rid of it. Okay, so think of this as the center line of the full helmet. There we go, look at that, eyeball. Okay, same again. Oh my god, this is my smooth. Oh, I have my shaky hands. Use the move tool. I don't know if this will.
working. So I'm going to call that done, right? Hit P. We fill them in. Now normally, it's like a very thin contrast. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, cylinder. You can pick any one like this. You could also pick some, like the one that looks like a bar of soap. It's thin and flat, and it's got good coverage. Ah, let's try this one. Okay, um, we want to make a new layer. Always make a new layer. Sometimes I even like to rename them. So yeah. This one. I'm just going to call it there. Make sure they're on fill. They are. If it undo. Let's call this build. What we can do is we can trim the edges a little nicer. Now, smooth set to fill. I find circular motions work best for filling, uh, don't ask me why, because I don't know. Just using move to nudge it into place. Just cleaning up the wireframe. Okay. Now smooth, we're going to go to flatten. Again, into circular motions, I find, work best for smoothing out the surface. With something like this, uh, we're not exactly needing to be super smooth anyway, its final form is kind of worn down.
to be honest, after this I noodled away for another maybe 5-10 minutes doing nothing useful, just a little bit of tidy up. Um, but essentially I've shown you everything that uh, this technique involves. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I look forward to showing you more in the next episode.